Hey guys, how's it going? Gabriel Warren here with Wild Whetstones. So what I'm doing is I'm just finishing the last couple touches on this gold dollar to get that bevel set the rest of the way. And I know it's right about where I want it just because when I push on the stone I can see how it's plowing the water evenly and I'm getting a nice undercut as it's called. So once I know my bevel is set, I've already done this, I'll just kill the edge through the corner of the stone really lightly. And what that does is it eliminates microchips and, and teeth at the edge. Then I bring my edge back. And when I can feel that nice stiction, I know that the whole edge is in contact with the stone again. And it's back. Now, you can do a little thumbnail test, but if I do that, it will take my edge down. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a test with my fingers. And that's catching skin and it's engaging. So I know I've got my bevel set. And that's the most important stage when you're honing a razor. So what I'm going to do next is take this ancient ocean and I'm going to give it just a gentle slurrying with my diamond plate. So I'm going to give it some water. And this has to be done with a diamond plate that's a little bit worn in because if you scratch up the surface of the stone too much, it takes away its polishing abilities. Uh, I do sharpen axes and I do sharpen dull knives with this kind of a stone as well. And when you've freshly flattened it, the surface pores are open so it can eat steel quickly. Now, I'm going to play with a fine balance here of letting the surface start to glaze up, but doing it while I'm using a slurry. So what that slurry does is it's going to remove the scratches from the 1000 grit stone. And since this is a really fine finishing stone, but it has cutting power, I'm going to be able to take a nice good jump here. So I don't need a 4,000 and an 8,000 and a 12,000 grit synthetic stone. Now, as you can see, this is a difficult stone to slurry and I'm being gentle. I'm not trying to carve into it. I'm just trying to keep it flat, but get some abrasive out of it. That's almost enough to work with. You don't want super thick mud, but if it's watery, then the surface of the stone is doing more of the action. So I'm gonna just kinda go like this, see what I've worked up. That's pretty good. I'll give it just a little bit more. And it's ready for the razor. And I'm gonna give the razor a quick rinse to make sure it doesn't have any hair on it. And you can see that that's a really white slurry. And with a pure white looking slurry, it tells you that it's mostly silica. So a lot of the slurry is very fine abrasives. I'm gonna pick it up and hold it just cause it's a flat laying stone. And that's gonna let me feel my edge better. And already I can see that it's starting to turn a little more gray. So when that white color changes, you know that the stone has removed metal. So you could rinse, lather, and repeat with this strategy and you don't need a bunch of mid-range stones. And a real hard stone like this solves the problem of dishing. So it's actually a really great all-around tool if you know the diamond plate slurry trick. Now, if you only hone on this with water, it's gonna burnish a little more. You could also hone on it with just plain oil. And burnishing means that the metal of your blade has actually polished the steel, uh, sorry, polished the stone. And so that's the trick to eking out the finest finish. So if you slurry first, it gives you more cutting power. And then you can wash away your slurry like this and do a plain water finish. And the feel is still engaging. I can definitely feel the stone acting upon the steel. And when it starts to kind of get that sticking kind of a feel, I know that my edge is real fine. So that is about a good place to stop. Now, if you keep going, you might lose a little bit of sharpness as the geometry of the edge kind of comes back some, but you might gain a little more smoothness. But for that crispest finish, Right about there is good enough. So that was maybe 40, 50 strokes back and forth. And I finished with just a little bit of a palm stropping. And 
nice and sharp.